Just do it. <laughs> Hello friends and welcome back to our Pokemon Fire Red Nuzlocke part number 46. I'm quite torn between going in the Sylph building and uh, just going and facing down Sabrina. It seems like I might not be able to get into the gym. Oh, I'm quite able to get into the, uh, the not so good gym. The fighting dojo. It's not a gym. Keep that in mind. And I think they're gonna double up on me here, so, uh, let's get, let's get our people good and ready. We'll just switch, uh, Acorn to the back a little bit, because he doesn't like the fighters. For good reason. We could totally use him against Sabrina, duh. Oh, you're trespassing in our fighting dojo! Well, the door was open, and I just... This is kind of what I do. Go in places, meet people, have an adventure. That's a cool Blastoise. Dang. That's scary. My Sea King won't know what to do against it. How about Horn Attack? Ah! It's probably not going to do that much. Actually, not bad because we're a little bit over leveled at the moment. So he hits me with the bite. Not a problem. We'll keep that Horn Attack coming. And it misses. And it misses. And that sucks. <laughs> I don't know. Like, Horn Attack is a pretty good move for what it is but the accuracy is a little bit low. You'll definitely want to swap it out for something better as you level. Uh, that's if you're using a, a Sea King or a Nidoran anyways. Uh, he's also got a Sea King. That's interesting. Well, let's, let's see whose Sea King is better, huh? Who's really the King of the Sea? <laughs> it's level 31. I don't think it stands that much of a chance. Horn Attack! Yeah, Sea King's a, a pretty bulky mon, all things considered. Um, he's able to take that even with 9 level disadvantage. 2 hit KO, uh, still pretty impressive to me. And his final poke is a Gardevoir, which I will send in the Acorn to deal with. That's right, they're not all going to be fighting types because it's all randomized. Duh! Hello, Dayton! Wake up! <laughs> I don't wanna... I don't wanna! The world's asleep, why should I wake up first? <laughs> Alright, that's a pretty good hit. Uh, I think this faint attack is gonna knock it out, no problem. No questions asked! Shazam! Well done, Akon. The, uh, the OG of the team. Putting in his work, as he does. Goddamn. Ugh, I give up! As you should. Who's next? You? Come. I hear you're good. Show me. Because you just heard me beat the shit out of that guy? Yeah, I'm okay, I guess. Hideki sent out Slugma. Ooh, interesting. Good thing Sea King is leading. We'll go for the surf. We'll knock it off the map, I think. I'm not sure how Sea King's special attack is compared to his attack, honestly. But uh, I think speed is the only thing he's lacking. In, in a really sore way. <laughs> He's got a Sableye, that's fine. We'll keep on surfing, brah. Smoke some dope afterwards, have a little barbecue on the beach. Doesn't this sound so nice? Yes! California knows how to party. How to party! Uh, he goes for the faint attack. A fake out and a faint attack. He's just like Acorn, except Sableye ear. Ghost and Dark. That's a, a badass combination, I gotta admit. But we got it. We overcame. Judge, one point. Oh, you wanna go again? You got more money? You got more money? Our master's a pro fighter. Be prepared to lose. Prime fighters across the land train here. Oh, really? Because I've never heard of you. <laughs> I've never heard of this place. You guys must not be as good as you say you are. Because... I haven't heard of you. I know of everything. I haven't heard of Dayton does. He must not be very good. But yeah, he's pretty good. He shatters boulders for training every day, dude. I don't know if you knew that, but that's actually uh, another Dayton does fun fact. Of which there are now two. If we're keeping track inside this one series. That drowsy shit. I'll try and bite it. Hopefully it doesn't have Psybeam or something nasty. Ooh, it's bulky. It's bulky. 
Oh no! Oh no! Oh, I made a mistake! Oh, it's okay. Okay, we need to get him out of there. A fucking sap. Okay. I'm so grateful he lived. Yes. You'll be just fine. You'll be just fine. Come back in the ball. <laughs> You'll be okay. Oh, and now he's meditating. It's not gonna be a problem. I should be able to sack him with the uh, fake out faint attack combo that the acorn is known for. He does lack a little punch, all things considered. His attacks don't hit that hard, but um, they always hit, except for Mega Kick. <laughs> Asterisk, yeah. I was about to say hashtag. Yeah, why not hashtag Mega Kick? Fuck it. That's what we need. Hashtag Mega Kick. Oh, his name's Aaron. That's awesome. He's named after a Pokemon. His mom's really inventive. <laughs> Whoa, take your shoes off. Uh, I won't. I like them on. Also, my feet stink. Hmm. Dayton does fun fact number three. <laughs> oh, man. All right, so he's got a Venonat out here now. I don't think it's, uh, what is it, bug poison? Yeah, so we'll just go for bite. Bite instead of acid. And he's got the confusion. That sucks, bro. Where'd you get that shit? All right. He's always had confusion, and it does confuse me. So I... Not just because he has it, but literally, like, Arbok was confused. So I'm gonna switch him out, which is probably the right move. He uses Leech Life. Oh, a bug move. Four times super effective. The little bastard, dude. He He's playing some games with me right now. That's fine. Fake it out. Fake it out real good. And maybe we'll mega kick this little fucker out the window. <laughs> He's shaped like a soccer ball. Oh, but he's dodgy. He has a, a mind of his own. Please don't poison powder. That's not nice. We'll go for faint attack. It will not miss. We know this to be true. And KO that thing nicely. I just wanted to have some fun with the mega kicks. Is that so wrong? Apparently so. Pokemon's not about fun. <laughs> he's got a shelter. Um, I don't really have too much that Whatever. I guess Acorn's fine. He doesn't have a grass move. Cradle he does, but um, it doesn't have that much PP. And I don't think Shelter's that scary, to be honest. I did have one on my team, and I loved him greatly. But uh, he was never the offensive force that I hoped he would be. This one might know Aurora Beam, which uh, an ice move will fuck up my, my poor little guy here. I'm gonna stop with the Mega Kick bullshit because it's not fucking working. And we'll delete it at the first possible opportunity. Feign attack. Oh, damn. I didn't think it would KO it in one hit. Shelter's physical defense is pretty high. Uh, and he's got an Ampharos. So I'm not scared of that either. Go on. Send it in to its death. We're not mega kicking anything anymore. Feign attacks all the way. Acorn's going to be uh, a little bit over leveled after Sabrina, I think. But then that's good because Blaine will come up. My god. I am way, like, ahead of myself already. Again. Repeatedly. Every time. Oh, and there's the fan attack. Goodbye, Ampharos. Goodbye! And, uh, those super potions I bought in Celadon will save me a trip to the Pokemart or Pokemon Center. I think that's a good thing. And then we could just face this guy down without worrying about losing anybody. I was so scared for little Arbok. Oh my god, he took a psychic to the face. You fucking remember that? Oh my god. Can't believe it. That was really a poor choice. A poor choice on my part. And... Acorn needs some too. Why not? 37 points. I wasted some of that, but it's okay. Oh. Oh, hey, buddy. Grunt, I'm the Karate Master, the leader here. You wish to challenge us? Expect no mercy. Fwa! Fwa? That's what you got for me? Okay, Koichi-san. Oh my god, an Abra. That is uh, quite an Abra, isn't it? Let's see if it has Psychic. Bite does a really, really good amount. And yeah, I thought it would just have Teleport, and it does. <laughs> So that's going to be a free kill. Delicious. I think uh, he's supposed to have Hitmonlee and Hitmonchan in his team. So it's interesting. One of them was turned into an Abra. 
They're both one stage evolutions, so I guess it makes sense. I don't know how it's randomized. I don't understand anything anymore. Let's go for acid. Use acid, you Medusa. You're not use acid. Maybe use acid would be good here, although he's a plant rock. If this thing comes out with an ice type move, it could be uh, the end of my precious little hippie plant. <laughs> Uh, I think acid's gonna wear this thing down. It doesn't hit as well as I hoped it would. Yeah, there's the defense drop. That's what I like to see. And uh, he's probably gonna wake up and rest again. Really, really foul. I don't understand why. But that's fine. Ooh, another defense drop. He's not gonna last for much longer. I thought he might get two more rests off, but that's not the case. He does go for the Aurora Beam. Good thing we did not have the Cradley in here. Although we could have switched it in while it was asleep and maybe KO'd, but I roll in those dice. <laughs> I love my Cradley. Are you crazy? I wasted Giga Drain on him. Or not wasted, invested. <laughs> invested Giga Drain on him. Ah, beaten. You shall sure were. Indeed, I've lost, but I beseech you, do not take our emblem as your trophy. In return, I will give you a fighting Pokemon. Choose whichever one you like. Let's see. Hard kicking Hitmonlee? Hmm. Piston punching Hitmonchan. I am gonna take uh, Hitmonlee, because competitively he is like the objectively better Pokemon. And uh, I'll name him Nike, because he's got some big old feet. And hopefully, if we end up using him, he'll be able to just do it. So good. The roster's filling out a little bit more, which is a nice thing. We're gonna have to go take over Sylphco. Not take over Sylphco, that's a bad thing. We'll go in there. We'll have a talk with the people that are in there. Um, and maybe buy them out and crush them under our boot hill. <laughs> I don't know. So friends, this has been Pokemon Fire Red and Uslock part number 46. I do hope you have enjoyed, and if you did, I hope you will like, comment, and or subscribe. And until the next time, friends, bye bye One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again.